Hello boys and girls and welcome to the final part, part 17 of The Legend of Zelda The Wind Waker HD in SD LP recorded in 30 FPS for YouTube on the FTCR channel. Uh, at this point we're in the final dungeon, we're about to go lay the smack of down on uh, on Ganon, uh, Ganondorf, rather. and as you can see, Miwa is just completely destroying the fuck out of all of these, uh, all of these mooks. Um, I kind of wish, uh, I kind of wish, no, no, disrespect to Chris, but I kind of wish we had just kept with the original uh, free part with it, because... No, I don't blame you. Uh, you know, when, when, you know, when we recorded those, because she knew, she knew this game inside and fucking out. Um, it was kind of, uh, kind of similar, it's kind of very similar to... My wife, neither of them grew up with a lot of games, but the games they had, they fucking knew how to play. Um, it's like, I'm, I'm not sure if I've ever, ever said, said the story before, but... Uh, so, my, one of the games that my wife was... My wife was very good at uh, was GoldenEye. Nice. For the N64. <laughs> nah, it's very nice. She played games. Um, and she played a game. Not. And uh, we were at a bar once that had an N64. So we were playing Goldeneye, just me and her, you know, 10 stock. I killed her nine times. I'm getting cocky, you know. I'm, like, being extremely condescending and, and mansplaining how video games work to her. And then she she but she lured me into a full sense of security, and she fucking 10 stock me on one life. And I have never been so angry or close to filing for divorce <laughs> as I was at that point in time. <laughs> um, now, and now we have Ganon watching over a little girl sleeping. <laughs> Wait, no, but it, it's true though. It, it, it's like you know, this is it, like the kid-friendly Zelda. This is by far the creepiest fucking Ganondorf. Like you know, as spoiler, the moment coming up where he he literally beats Link to a like to a pulp. You don't expect that in the kid-friendly in the kid-friendly art style Zelda game. <laughs> it's uh, it's kind of fucking disturbing. The first time I saw it, it fucking disturbed me. Ganon oh. insult confirmed. <laughs> oh, no. well, I mean, he, what the fuck? he chokes Mine's them up. out several times. I just feel like maybe that's more. We see that thematically just used a lot more. It's like, oh, I'm gonna hold you and choke you. This is just throwing all the other physical shits of punches and, I guess, creepy bed touches. But it is weird how this, like, because of his design, Ganondorf, Ganondorf is like fifty times. <laughs> <laughs> He's a monster. He's so big. That's his bed. <laughs> It, fit, it fits him. So this, this you're sure saying this is a reverse of Goldilocks and the Three Bears. It's Zelda and the One Ganondorf. <laughs> this bed's pretty good. <laughs> and then Link's like, I got a white sword. Oh, Jesus. Why'd you have to be racing into this, Stefan? Yeah, that's pretty fucked up, bro. I didn't bring race. I bring, I bring color. That's kind of freaky. It feels like it feels like his arm extends and falls off. <laughs> like, well, they're throwing all the the creaks and cracks in it too as he gets big. So you're like, what's going on? Like at this point, you're prepared for some body horror action. It's like, oh no, it's a big puppet. Oh fuck, it's Vector Man. Bleah, balls. It is Vector. Man. Anything but Vector Man. This is the <laughs> this is the final boss, and that's the animation we get. It's kind of weird. I know, right? <laughs> It subverted your expectations, didn't it? <laughs> oh, yeah, it certainly did. Why do we gotta fight the puppet? Because, shut up, that's why. Be because you're a mere child. Because we gotta stay true to the to the Ganon is a pig thing. Oh, yeah, that's right, yeah, yeah, yeah I forgot that yeah, he doesn't turn into a pig in this game. That, that, that was established with the creepy bedtime scene, alright? We know he's plenty pig. We know he's a misogynist pig. He's an incel pig. Fuck up. <laughs> he's a cop, gotcha. Fucking cops. He was born into a race of nothing but women, and he still couldn't. <laughs> do, 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 do you think Ganon's I'm a gamer? Edit out. <laughs> Don't I'm edit gonna it edit out. My, I'm gonna edit out my original line, so just Chris, for no reason, just goes fucking cops. <laughs> <laughs> do it, bro. I agree. Nope. What was Ga was Ganon the original gamer of Hyrule? Oh Christ! Yeah, Ganon, Ganon, Ganon wants Ganon wants the uh, Triforce just so he can get the most subscri subscriptions on Twitch. The, the cool breeze he mentions coming from Hyrule is actually the limited releases of Gamer Fuel Mountain Dew. 
<laughs> mm. <laughs> is 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 Ganon ninja, and that's why he's upset that uh, Zelda's here. He would never be in the same room with a girl. Come on. I can't have a woman I, I, I can't share the Triforce with a girl. <laughs> Please. <laughs> Please. It's accurate. Damn, he was crushing this dude. Again, like, I wish, like, it's, it's, uh, I wish we had uh, some of the original audio, because she would go into the fact that it's, she always acted like it was nothing. Because, you know, I'm sure that at this point, to her, it wasn't, because she got so fucking good at these games, man. Yeah, man. She, she, she didn't, she didn't would... really explain it. She more so just like, yeah, I did it. What are you fucking stupid? Yeah. <laughs> like, that like, is, what are you that stupid? Is, of course she... I did this. That's my favorite <laughs> thing about me, was that she always knew the perfect thing to say. Every, every time. She knew the perfect thing to say, and it's my favorite. Argh. My favorite fucking thing, man. At the end of, of a Rayman part, where David Delurka <laughs> goes on this long rant about like I think he's talking about like going to get like a burger at McDonald's, just like he says <laughs> yeah. this wrong, stupid fucking rant, and then there's like a fucking four seconds of silence, and Mira just goes, "What a fucking waste, waste of, of time." time. <laughs> Your tone is so great, though, because she sounds disgusted, like she doesn't want she anyone does. else to hear, but she's like, what a fucking waste of time. Well, David was talking about wanting to eat McDonald's in every country. Oh, that's what it was. But, but, but it's great, though, because, like, it's, you, I completely imagine the fact that she didn't care that we, she was just literally saying that to herself. Like, if no one else was in the room, she would have done the exact same <laughs> thing. Just, what a fucking waste of time. I always thought she was can... just talking about the channel in general. <laughs> Which, which, which it was, which is, you know, why she left to do better things with her life. I really need a sitcom with David and Miwa. I'm sorry, but <laughs> two polar opposites of people. We can't blame her. It really is. Holy shit. It would just be David trying to tell her, like, long, long, like, well, incredibly here's geeky, the story like, all things about, about Song the Hedgehog. And he would like, I don't fucking care. Here's the story Go of David Gosman. David, oh Jesus! <laughs> it, 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 it's times like this I wish I didn't understand English. <laughs> yes. <laughs> well, it, it, but like, I think I think uh, Miwa told us once that I guess it, it's tradition in in Japan to get like KFC on Christmas. <laughs> and, you know, for a fact, David, they would have fucking brought up Danica Patrick. Don't eat that, Miwa. You could get sick for me and ass chicken. <laughs> I didn't know What's that was a thing. That that Japanese people get KFC on Christmas. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's like she it's told us thing. that, and I, I, I was just like, really? What the, like, what the so fucking random? There's like a couple of videos on this, yeah. Probably just because it, it's super American and getting some fried chicken. And so is Christmas. Chris is, it, it's an American Super American. Thing. Well, that, well, in its current form, yeah, very American-y. And the colonel kind of looks like Santa, so I don't know. Ho, ho, ho. Oh, oh I, I, me I remember about this the, this boss. Uh, the, his weakness is uh, bait. Yeah, because oh. <laughs> you have to put bait down, and then that 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 stuns him. It's because he's based off a of moldworm. So uh, in a lot of the two D games, the big worms that are just a bunch of circles that he's modeled after. Yeah, you, know, you can use the bait to lure him. Yep, this is probably something they'll probably bring back in the Wind Waker HD, or sorry, HD, Link's Awakening HD. HD Clay Box Super Edition full price. Gotta buy it. Uh, Hyper Turbo. Uh, so is, is this is this Ganon like up there just pulling on the strings? Yeah. yeah, we're not finding actual Ganon. He's just throwing a toy that's turning into different Zelda bosses. You have the spider form, which is reminiscent. No, but I mean, of, I mean, like, uh, is, is he, he the one eyes, actually controlling the? Is he the one controlling the strings, yeah. or is he just, is just oh? Imagining him up there pulling. On yeah, the strings, just imagine though. just like pull these strings. He's like, come on, come on, Link, come on, Bread Boy. <laughs> oh, there he is. <gasps> what if he just dropped her? That's what a villain would do. We're not dealing with that. We're dealing with a complicated man. We're just dealing with a levitating ghost. We're, we're dealing with a hardcore gamer here. <laughs> Thanos threw. Oh, Thanos was the ultimate incel. Lady Death wouldn't go near him. And yet everyone still wants to fuck him. Huh. Cause he he's he's a thick boy. I, I mean I get that like yeah, but Stephen, who would you fuck, Thanos or Ganondorf? This Ganondorf. Ganondorf. Okay, is it the is it is it because Thanos doesn't have any hair and you hate bald people? I don't hate bald people. <laughs> <laughs> That's what guys always say about Stephen. Man, really hates bald people. Why the fuck would I want to fuck Thanos? Why would? Because he's purple. 
shit, you got me there. Have you seen him do the Fortnite dance, dude? He's thick. <laughs> oh my god. So, Chris, Chris, Thanos or, or Ganondorf, who'd you fuck? Um, well, I don't know anything about Thanos, so he's kind of a mystery, which is attractive. <laughs> but Ganondorf can levitate, and he's like 50 times my size, so it'd be really rough. Um, so Ganondorf? Both. See, that's gonna be my answer. Like, don't why limit yourself to one thick boy? Have a thick sandwich. Oh. Yeah, but if Thanos well, if you is there, the creamy filling. I mean, the difference is, is that Ganondorf wants to kill everybody. Thanos only wants no, to kill doesn't. half of everybody. So it's yeah, but hey, no, Ganondorf no, doesn't want to kill anyone. He, he just wants to rule. No, yeah. If Thanos got jealous, he'd just snap Ganondorf away, though. So maybe you're just risking getting emotionally attached for someone that's going to vanish. So. No, no, but no. Yeah, there's there's only a fifty. There's only a fifty percent chance, though. I don't know anything about this guy other than he's like Barney. <laughs> there's only a fifty percent chance that I'll come if I fuck Thanos. Like, there, there, there's like that fifty percent chance. Where with Never Ganondorf, it's like a one. It's like a one hundred percent chance. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Uh, fuck, marry, kill, Thanos, Ganondorf, the bad guy from Ratchet and Clank. Which one? And, uh, which one? Cause... Uh, Chris, the one who was played by Paul Giamatti in the oh, movie. Oh, Drek. Oh. Yeah. I would marry Ganondorf because I feel like I could change him. Yeah. Kill Drek. Steven, did you, did you say marry Ganondorf because you think you can change him? Yes. <laughs> you can't change people like that, you damn fool. I can. That's how love works. I can change him. People have been saying that, you know, people have been saying that about the Ganon in Breath of the Wild too. They're like, oh, is he going to be good? I say, Ganon, look, you're a ginger, I'm a ginger. <laughs> and we're the ginger grumps. Ganondorf covets, covets the wind. Does that mean that Ganondorf is actually attracted to Sonic? Because he's in Light of the Wind. In my in my video essay, I will go into these themes and topics. Well, in, in my world. video essay, Ganon actually covets Bart's of Final Fantasy V as he is the hero of light associated with wind. Uh, this is this is the bit that okay. I think this is the bit that that jit freaked me out the first time playing it. Freaked you out? Because like it it's so fucking fast, and he just like it's so. This is a creepy. Uncomfortable pasta, to watch. It's so uncomfortable to watch. He just pummels the fuck out of Link. Then his eyes bled, Bitch. but it was like real blood, not <laughs> pixel blood. And then the cartridge started bleeding. But it was real blood. And then I tasted it, and it was real blood. <laughs> I love the fact that if that sword had been like two inches to the left, Zelda would have just fucking died. <laughs> Game over. Game over! I, yeah! I'm sure the Triforce would have protected her. She, she's got <laughs> space. She's got space. plot space. armor. Duh. Uh, yes, I lose. Uh. <laughs> now I have three triangles. One, two, three, you fool. three triangles. Uh, uh, See, uh, uh, practically uh, uh. gave them to me. Now that Gareth has shared that story, I want to make a meme where... The Link is Carry with one stock, and the Ganondorf is Gareth <laughs> with ten stocks. <laughs> no way, shouldn't that be reversed? Yeah, reverse. No, so no, it yeah, because Link wins, so it'd be me with one stock versus Ga no, it, it, the Ganondorf. The, the first, the first stock. yeah, the, it's the first image, and then the, the second one is uh, where it's the yeah, sword in the, the forehead. Yeah. <laughs> it's Gary there winning. you go. So I'd love it at this point if, you know, he wants to give Hyrule to me, but the king's already he's got his hand on there. No, and bitch. the king's like, he who touches it has whatever he desires. I want a, I want a medium coke with no eye. <laughs> mountain of handkerchiefs. I want a mountain of handkerchiefs. Little Gandalf keeps his hand out. Oh, fuck. Remember Link touching the Triforce in A Link to the Past. He just made a I wish. He, he does at the very, very, very end. He touches it? Yeah, he holds it like with the like item no, get man, animation they floating, and everything. They floating above him. Yeah, and he then they congeal him. and then they float down to him. He holds it. He God touches damn it. it. You're right. God damn it. I love this moment because the king's like, I want these children to have a future and hope. So fucking drown this place and everything in it. Yeah. <laughs> it's already under the ocean. So so would you say they don't float down here? Mm. Oh, oh. Ganondorf is Pennywise. That's Ganondorf that thinks your joke is funny. G Ganondorf is a clown. <laughs> He's just laughing at Stefan's joke. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, hey. I like games enlisted. <laughs> See, Stephen, have you ever made Ganondorf laugh? No, so shut up. Exactly. 
Stephen Stefan wins this OP for making Ganondorf laugh. Yep. All right, pay up. I bet on him. Da, 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 da. Go, bread boy. A little sogginess can't hold you back. <laughs> oh, Ganon no longer has a Triforce of Power, so... Yeah? Why, why... <sighs> Aren't we allowed to do spoilers or not? <laughs> I overslept. <laughs> Whoops. I'm questioning if you guys can even hear me in this Let's Play. Yeah, I can hear you. Man, I, mean, I really wish you could hear Steven right now. No responses. Oh, it's fucking weird. Um, Relatable. Why isn't he talking? <laughs> oh, Chris, why are you crying? Well, how did you know? That's a deep cut. <laughs> this ending always gets me. I don't even remember what I was talking about. Steve, Ganon turns to stone at the end of the fight. You were asking if he has... He doesn't have the Triforce of Power. Why yeah, he, doesn't, he, he no longer has the tri Triforce of Power, so that means that he should be dead dead. No, because he, he he's... No, he always reincarnates. We learned that in, in Skyward Sword. So even without the Triforce of Power, he still comes back. Ah, uh, Skyward Sword. The $60 music CD in the Wii case. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I like that game, kind of. I haven't played it for now. You know what's weird is that <laughs> when I think about the game... You get hard. I don't remember having fun, but <laughs> while I play it, I'm having fun. It's like the opposite of what we were talking about with Majora's Mask. Very interesting. <laughs> Stay tuned, viewers, for our Skyward Sword <laughs> Let's Play. Oh, God. Who's going to do that? You. Nose goes. I don't want to. Can't we just do... Can we just do more Sonic? <laughs> I never, ever thought I would fucking hear you. Sincerely, I know. Honestly, say that. Steven say, can we do more Sonic? It's just easy, you know. <laughs> he just slapped her with him with his sword. So I I always thought this fight was the coolest shit as a kid, and I would just spend all my time dodging his attacks because I thought Gandorf with two swords was real cool. So I take make this fight take as long as possible, just being like, damn. If you if Kino. you wait, if you wait for. Uh, for eight, if you like, if you spend over eight minutes in this fight, the King of Red Lions comes in over the speaker and says that he found Link, and Link's not actually a clone. He's real. <gasps> he says, "Queen up and I'll eat." <laughs> <laughs> Hyrule's actually just a Kmart. We must flood it. All right, here, here's, here's what, 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 are, what are your what are your favorite Zelda final bosses? Uh, this one, since it's one of the two I've done. <laughs> yeah, I think, I think th 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 this one's like in the top three at least. What's the game where Ganondorf has a peanut allergy and Link just throws peanuts at him? <laughs> that's my favorite. I think that's Faces of Evil. Oh, yeah, that's the best one. I mean, it's, it's kind of fucked up, but it's kind of, you know, it works. Just the interactivity, the, the symbolism of the fight, it's, it's good shit. Mwah. I'm just think I'm just thinking of uh, the episode of The Simpsons when uh, Skinner and Bart are fighting with their allergies. <laughs> it, it is weird, though, because you don't expect to get a peanut in the first bit of the game and it's to do anything. So I appreciate that. Oh, so it's like Silent Hill. 3. Oh, oh, oh damn! Nice. That's a, I again, <laughs> the kid-friendly Zelda ends with Link fucking impaling Ganondorf in the head. You would made that very dramatic. Oh, Gareth, you and I disagree about with what kids can handle. I think kids can handle this just fine. I was a kid and I handled it. I thought it was cool as shit. I was like, what, nine? Maybe. No, I mean, I'm just, I'm just surprised that, like, in terms of the rate in England, this was rated like the lowest rating, uh, and it's just like, I'm like, that's when I'm like, really? They probably just took a, a look, plus? one look at Nintendo and said, eh, it's fine. It's fine. No, 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 none of them got to this part of the game. I was gonna say, how many <laughs> yes. of the raiders actually played to the ending? They just played right, outside right, yeah. and are like, oh my goodness, you can pick up the pig, throw the pig. That's so nice. <laughs> Because yeah, didn't didn't yeah, the didn't the original the original release of Ocarina of Time uh, Ganon bled in that? He had he had red blood. He he, he I, which I think they they changed to green for later versions and the 3DS well, remake. Swords will bleed. Skyward Sword teaches us that too. The king. I was the same as Gandalf, so please put a sword in my fucking head as well. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I want to be rock hard as well. That's my only sword. Maybe I could pull it out. <laughs> yeah, we could we could line you two up and get both in one. That'd be great. Yeah, if you if you stand real close to him, we'll do a twofer. 
So if if the two stop praying, the sword's not as strong. Does that start reversing the stoning effect? As long as you believe in Hyrule. Oh, okay, okay. I always hate to end this word. I believe in character like. I, be I believe in a world of trains and and choo choos <laughs> and ah. Uh. Oh no. When are we gonna have a modern day Zelda game? I believe in touch-based control. Where a pona is a motorcycle. <laughs> oh, we already have that. Yeah, I was gonna say you joke, but they go yeah, in there. That's right. We already have that. I always hate endings where there's a character who can very clearly leave the death sentence they are in. There's no reason for them to accept it. They can do more good for the world than they could by dying. You know, he can still atone, but he's like, nah, I'm old. I'll stay down here. This is my punishment. I'm gonna drown. This is kinda cool, he goes, I don't know. It's like it's, it's like Force Whitaker in Rogue One. Yeah, it's Everyone like, leaves the planet's about to explore. I'm gonna stand here though. He's so you guys kill on the ship that I can easily walk to. But I'm not gonna do that because um Cause I'm old Because everyone has to die in this movie, so I'm gonna stand here. He has to die okay, with bye. as much relevance as the Bugali had. No loose ends. No. I'm a character from Star Wars Rebels, but if you haven't seen that show, you don't know who I am. You don't give a fuck. It, so, um, I'm sorry, Agents of I'm Rebels? I'm going to stand here what? and die. Star Wars Rebels. Agents of Rebels? I'm sorry, I'm, I'm very confused. Agents <laughs> of Resistance <laughs> Rebels. Agents of Resistance of S.H.I.E.L.D. of, of Link. Oh, okay. Jones. Gotcha. I gotcha. Zelda is back to her much more interesting character. Wow, I can't believe they tan washed Zelda. Tan washed? <laughs> Tetris better than Zelda, though. This works out. That bird's getting its wings in the water and it's not reacting to that. This is a bad game. This game sucks. This is the worst game we've ever OP, that is. Only accurate. babies play this game. Fuck. I know, right? But look at this fucking art style. Fucking. Zelda, more like. Oh right? my god, it's Big Brother! <laughs> Why is that guy staring off into the distance with a little telescope? He's not even looking at these guys. Worst game ever. She got something in her eye. <laughs> That's why it's the worst game ever. Because Tetra got something in her you eye. You could never learn to love Wind Waker. It's true. Wish that guy would just fall off with the fucking blue cap. I always hated him. He sucks. Hey, no, he's he's the one that canonically lives until the next game. You respect him. <laughs> That's he, why I never played those games. He's been in more Zelda games than half the cast. <laughs> I, I wonder how many of these pirates have pillaged. Well, I mean, there's one dead bird. Uh, another one. Oh. Oh, died of dysentery. Stuff their bodies in the cannon. <laughs> <laughs> I want that. I want that to be canon in a in a Nintendo game that someone died of dysentery. Garrus, the best, the best song yes. is Croc coming out before or after this. Croc is out before this. Before this, Croc. I, I, at the day at the day we record, we recording this the day before part two of Croc goes up. Timing like, was already up. Timing and um, <laughs> since the fun full we get crook up before license to chill. <laughs> Dumbass. <laughs> um, yeah, did, um, I, did, did you uh, watch? We, did you we watch were, part you, five? I watched some of it. Yeah. So parts of um, Miwa actually was in parts of Winway of Croc rather that we had recorded before we finished. Um, before we did the last three parts of Wind Waker. So uh, I'm not sure exactly when. When you're listening to this, I'm not sure if Croc is still going on concurrently or if, or if Croc is afterwards. I'm not sure, but yeah. So um, whether you listen, whether it's gone live or now, there uh, Miwa is going to be in parts of Croc. I think Stefan, what like a hand, like a couple of parts. Yeah, of Yeah, three parts of Croc. Um, and then uh, yeah, so uh, those parts uh, will be Miwa's last canon appearance. On a TCR because again she's left to do better things with her life than she she pulled a poochie she said fuck off my planet needs me. Our cinematic universe is so hard to follow. I can't keep track of this stuff, guys. I mean, who the fuck is Apple? 
There's a torch. No, this is the part where she leaves our <laughs> show and she starts her spin-off show that happens in Los Angeles with her detective agency. Oh shit, that sounds way better. She's Urkling us. Angel was a better show than Buffy, <laughs> so yeah, I would I would totally watch the Miwa Let's Play channel. Uh, I'm already uh, yeah subscribed. I've commented on all the videos. I've liked the ball. Go 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 and like go only like all the videos Miwa's in. Please. If it's, it's if it's a video she isn't in, then dislike it. Well, it's not worth anything. And, Fuck then, it. Then flag it. Then flag <laughs> it to YouTube to take it down. Region, this video does not contain Miwa. <laughs> okay, just say same day thing. Uh, all your fa favorite favorite Miwa moments. Go. Uh, it might be, you know what, I'm not sure if um, we ever said this on a El Pura stream, but the day we the day we met her. Oh god. <laughs> we actually explained this on Smoothie's Adventures. Yeah. We talk That's about really, it in the upcoming... In the upcoming uh, FTCR interviews. Yeah, the, 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 that'll be the yeah, that'll be the last thing that she's in. Well, I guess that'll be, but uh, you know, it's it's. Uh, we we used to do a thing. We would just get on Skype together and do uh, prank calls. And I think I forget exactly how Sky met her, but Skylar brought her into the call, and um, we called her. You could do a thing where you could call up, like like uh, like a. It's not. It wasn't a sex hotline because it would connect you with another person calling in. But, like, females got to call in for free and men had to pay. And me was speaking to this guy who was, like, you know, clearly trying to, to, to get, you know, to get something. Get and me was just, get off, essentially. And the rest of us are, like, muted, trying not to laugh <laughs> and give ourselves away. And the guy's just like, so, uh, you know, like, what are you wearing? And he was like, I'm wearing a Pikachu costume. I'm, watch I'm like, watching Digimon I'm with my family. I'm watching <laughs> Digimon the next to my mother and father. <laughs> <laughs> and the guy was trying so hard to get off. He's like, oh, yeah, that's hot. <laughs> <laughs> He's just like, Pikachu is my favorite character. <laughs> I like to watch Digimon with my mom, too. <laughs> Yeah, that that is possibly my favorite memory. Um, I mean, obviously the um, uh, the the joke we shall not repeat from uh, Stairfax Temperatures. Yep, that might be mine. <laughs> um, that's. I think I think that forever cemented. Is that is that the two bomb joke? Yes. All right, I I just need to make sure. Well, just go check out that, Smoothie's Adventures. Watch the entire yes. eight-hour thing, and you'll know what we're talking about. Yes. This joke is a two-parter. That is similar to the introduction of Mexi, where he sent us that video that's responsible for me going to hell. Uh, um, Giles thing. Giles thing goes with everything. Okay, I didn't know you would actually say it, but all right. Oh, it's yeah, it's bad. So don't, don't like. Does it go to good? I'm 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 I might bleep myself in that bit out because okay, it's, it's it's fucked up, man. <laughs> it's so fucked up. Hey, you didn't make it. You just laughed at it. You're off the hook. Well, technically, Mexi found it and sent it to me, so he's going to burn as well. So, uh, Steven, your favorite moment? Let me go last. Has everyone else? Uh, okay. Yeah, let me go last. Uh, Stefan, you go next. I, I, I don't... There, there, there are... Yeah, because, like, like you said, there, I'm, cause I'm trying to think of one that isn't, like, the usual, because, like you mentioned, like, those are all, like, the, the usual ones. I think, like, pretty much uh, everything she says in Rayman 2... And not even just like the obvious, like made of bees and stuff like that, but just like everything else that she mentions is like pure gold. I think yeah, Miwa shines the best in Rayman, and and, in, and a lot of, and a lot in Zelda here too. Uh, uh Maxi, did you already go? I did not. Um, so personally, my favorite Miwa moment is that she helped me a lot with some darkness. So. I just want that to be out there in the world that she helped me with a lot of things. Um, but on a more fun note, um, just, just the fact that she let us joke about stealing her PhD and photocopying it and selling off copies <laughs> to, to one of my favorite games. And she was so cool about it. And she went along. 
because she's just a, she's, she's a badass like that. And I got that before she went off to the, her better shit. Yeah. Okay, uh, Steven, do you want to go? Do you want to go now, or do we? Do, do we also want to sum up Wind Waker, as it is the last part of Wind Waker? Whatever you want. <laughs> it's a video game. Yeah. Do your okay. Do do your what's what's your favorite what's your favorite uh, moment of of uh, hashtag Miwa action? My favorite, not my favorite, but one of my favorites, because I can't make a favorite, but like like what Stefan said. Besides all the obvious ones, a really good one is when Miwa says, "How many FTCR members does it take to screw in a yes. light bulb?" And she's and we ask what, and she says, "One. They're completely competent people." <laughs> Aww. Aww. I don't what OP was that from? I don't remember that. Uh, one. They're functioning human beings. They're she thinks we're beings. functioning. <gasps> <laughs> All right, Stefan, steal my thunder. <laughs> oh, there it is. So beautiful. So yeah, Wind Waker, one of the best uh, Zelda games. Go try it out. It's, it's likely to probably be ported to Switch because every fucking Wii U game is getting ported to Switch now. But except uh, Wonderful One Hundred and One, it'll never leave. Good. Um, I, th- I think I think everyone here likes uh, Wind Waker. I think everyone here would uh, recommend you uh, playing Wind Waker. So thank you so much for uh... hot take. Play Zelda Wind Waker. <laughs> exactly, it's the the hottest of takes online. People have been killed for that type of hot take in the past. But um, uh, yeah, check out Wind Waker. Thank you for watching um, the uh, all seventeen parts of the Bread Boy Adventure through the ocean. Uh, again, not sure exactly when this has gone up, but uh, check out Croc. Or don't. Fuck you. And also look out for FTCR interviews. Yeah, and that. It's but, but fuck you. <laughs> <laughs>